So moving on to our, our, uh, our next speaker, uh, we have Jordan Schneider, who is the Chief Operating Officer of a wonderful uh, startup, VV Scout, uh, who's joining me today. Um, Jordan, are you there? I am. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, yeah, well, wonderful to have you on, Jordan, uh, and uh, uh, participating today. Um, so you know, I, I'd love for you to give us a quick uh, 60 second or so intro uh, about yourself, uh, first of all, and then uh, let you know, tell us a little bit more about VB Scout and how, how the technology works. Sure, I'd love to. Um, so thank you, Jerry, for having me. Um, so as, he's, as Jerry said, I am Viviscout COO. Um, although Viviscout is located in Miami, I am actually based in St. Croix, the US, US Virgin Islands. Um, I came here in 2020 to work remotely during the pandemic and just never left. Um, I met James uh, Viviscout CEO when he and his wife were also in St. Croix working remotely. And when he told me about what he was trying to do with Viviscout, I decided to join him to assist him with building the company, um, setting up his business processes, and manage, managing the project to develop the newest version of our prototype. Um, I actually started my career as a journalist, um, but then moved into advocacy writing at a public policy think tank in Santa Barbara. Um, in California, I also worked as a nonprofit fundraiser and grassroots political organizer. Uh, where I co-directed the campaign to win a ban on single-use plastic grocery bags in the state. Um, and then I moved into managing private businesses in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, including two fast-growing tech startups on the 5,000 list. Uh, in Charleston, I also became a professional dive master and took over the management of a, a Patty Five Star Dive Center. And uh, since then, I have become a project management professional and started my own consulting business here in the VI, where I help business leaders manage major projects and execute strategic initiatives. Wonderful. Oh, and then, yeah, sorry. So Viviscout, <laughs> Viviscout, um, so we want uh, to you to imagine a world where you could wear a wristband that warns you uh, 24 to 48 hours before a potential heart attack. That's our vision. Uh, it's reflected in our name. Uh, Vivi is Latin for life and to scout is to gather information about risks ahead. So an early warning system for heart attacks is a big idea. It's so big, we're not sure we can do it, um, but if we can do it, uh, then it will have a huge impact on your health and the rest of society at large. So the breakthrough required to do this is relies on a new way of measuring something called the arterial pulse waveform. Uh, you can feel your arterial pulse by simply placing two fingers on the bottom of your wrist. And those beats that you're feeling um, contain information that we convert into a waveform. And that is what will give us the predictive power needed to accomplish our mission. So in short, uh, Vivi Scout's mission is to take the arterial pulse wave signal and use it to predict uh, various cardiac events in time for yourself and others to take corrective action. As far as the technology goes, we have a wearable device that continuously and passively records pulse data from the radial artery. Um, the data is then sent to the cloud where our proprietary algorithm uses machine learning to create an accurate image of the pulse waveform in real time that can be accessed remotely from a mobile device. Um, our initial research indicates that the data we capture is very close to what hospitals capture from a surgical A-line um, in the OR. I mean, this is a system that uses needles, tubes, and wires. Um, but uh, we believe that the accuracy of our data is, uh, comes from our patent pr protected location on the radial artery at the bottom of the wrist, where the signal is strongest from the pulse signal is strongest. Other wrist-worn wearables on the market today uh, collect data from the vein at the top of the wrist where the signal is degraded. So no one has ever been able to continuously and passively collect pulse waveform data for 24 hours a day. So for the first time, Viviscout will be able to provide continuous data on important metrics for heart health, uh, including blood pressure, heart rate, um, mean arterial pressure, cardiac output, and others. Okay, no, wonderful. Uh, no, it definitely sounds like you guys are making a, a really strong impact right now. And 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 like, where you, where do you guys see, um, you know, you making that impact on healthcare right now as VB Scout? Right. Well, in the short term, in the near term, I, we think we'll still have huge implications for how healthcare is delivered in the U.S. So, in clinical settings, 
patients in recovery rooms can receive the same quality of monitoring they would get in the ICU. Um, hospitals that lack resources and staff trained setting and replacing these A-line devices, such as those in rural areas, um, can use Viviscout to get critical information that will greatly improve their overall quality of care. Um, and in emergency situations, when placing an A-line in the field is difficult or dangerous, uh, EMS can use Viviscout to start advanced monitoring well before the patient reaches the ER. And uh, Viviscout can also be used to improve at-home monitoring for patients who are post-operative or who are managing uh, chronic conditions like hypertension. So for example, through continuous monitoring of blood pressure, uh, Viviscout will allow doctors to adjust medication for their patients in real time if blood pressure falls outside of a acceptable range. So we think Viviscout will result in better decision-making, uh, inspire better confidence, greater confidence in decisions and support better planning and diagnosis. And you know, beyond that, we also believe that by collecting continuous heart health data from our users at scale, uh, we're opening the door to brand new science. So we believe that by applying machine learning to analyze the pulse waveforms in a broader population, uh, we'll be able to identify those irregularities um, and trends that might indicate that a chronic cardiac health condition is present and potentially even the imminent risk of a heart attack. Gotcha. No, very, 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 very critical. Uh, and, and I'm sure your audience would love to know like where you guys are right now in, in your development of the product. Right. Um, so our alpha device prototype was actually originally developed in 2016. And the patent for our technology was, and our location on the radio artery, which is crucial, um, was granted in 2021. Uh, so we formed the a company in October of last year. And since then, we have completed the hardware for our beta prototype. And we expect to complete updates to our cloud computing infrastructure to work with the new device by the end of next month. Um, and we plan to continue to refine the algorithm and miniaturize the device through subsequent rounds of uh, funding and clinical trials, it, including the one of the next steps is to miniaturize our sensor so that it fits into the bottom of any watch band, including analog watch bands. Gotcha. No, fantastic. And on that note, uh, you know, uh, with the audience wanting to know more about you know, where you are in, in terms of development, uh, I'm sure we have a couple of VCs and investors in the audience today uh, that would love to know uh, what, uh, what business model uh, you guys are, are working with right now. So our financial model is to collect um, annual licensing fees and sell monthly subscriptions to the data they produce, um, both on a per patient and per parameter basis. So in order to do this, our first step is to commercialize the device as a fitness wearable, um, which does not require FDA approval. Um, and by marketing our unique ability to measure fitness parameters like cardiac output to professional athletes and sports teams, um, we will begin generating revenue to fund future hardware development. Um, and concurrently, as we commercialize through the fitness market. We also plan to pursue FDA approval as a medical device to complement that surgical A-line. I mean, this, this will require clinical trials, including a pilot study to validate our device uh, for use in a clinical setting. Um, we're fundraising right now for that milestone and to help with commercializing for the fitness market. Uh, after that, we will seek FDA approval for use in outpatient settings, uh, which opens the door to the remote patient monitoring market that I described. And um, finally, as we begin to accumulate data from our users at scale, that's when we'll explore the possibilities of using AI to develop those predictive analytics uh, to identify those risks to cardiac health. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, it certainly sounds like a, a wonderful plan moving forward. Is, is there anything else that, uh, uh, that you want to add in terms of what's coming up next for you guys at VB Scout? So we're raising money to support our go-to-market plans. Um, so in December, we raised 500000 at a $5 million post money valuation from friends and family. Um, now we're raising another $500,000 um, at, uh, at a $10 million post money valuation to support the deployment of those uh, prototypes for the fitness market and uh, for a study necessary to confirm the accuracy of our hemodynamic parameters. Um, and then round after this, we'll be raising 1 million at a 20 million post money valuation. And I would just say that um, if you're interested in joining us on our quest to change the world of cardiac care, you can contact me 
uh, jordan at divascout.com. And together we can make uh, our vision of an early warning system for heart attacks a reality. No, wonderful. Um, no, thank you very much for uh, coming on, Jordan, and, and sharing what you guys are doing at VB Scout. Uh, really, really, really essential work. Um, you know, when it comes to um, you know really helping the uh, get you know, helping the, uh, the 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 patients at the end of the day, uh, and really you know get this important solution out into um, you know in, into the hands of the end user uh, and so forth. So, thank you, uh, Jordan, for coming on uh, and 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 giving us a bit more info about that. Jordan's information as well as VB Scout's information, uh, Unique is putting into the chat now. So if you are interested again in um, in learning a little bit more about um, what uh, you know what VB Scout is doing and, and where they're going in the future, uh, please reach out to Jordan and uh, and her team, uh, VB Scout. So uh, thank you, Jordan. Thanks for coming on. Uh, real pleasure to have you uh, with us today. Thank you.